Hello, welcome back to part 30 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 year old 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're gonna handle the Pac-Man collision. And the first thing we're gonna do is add the gamepad controller. So go to your Pac-Man class. And the first thing we're gonna do here is in the private section, we're gonna add a private gamepad states. Current gamepad states. And the private gamepad states. Previous game at state. Represents the current game at state and And represents the previous gamepad state. Right? And now, when we go to the update methods, here at the top we can say get the current keyboard and gamepad states. So we can say here now, get the current gamepad states. So the current gamepad state is equals to gamepad dot cat state. And now we need to pass in a player index. So player index is 1. Alright. And now at the bottom, set the previous keyboard and gamepad states. So here you can say set the previous gamepad states. So the previous gamepad state is equal to the current gamepad states. Right. And now we have this done. We're gonna add a constant in our game class of the Pac-Man game. And that's exactly the same as we have used in our map builder tool. So we're gonna copy that. So go to your map builder tool and open the game one. And here we have at the top the constant tile size. So we're going to copy this block. And we're going to paste it here at the top of our game class. So we're going to use it now in our Pac-Man game. Right? And now we have this done. We go to the map class. And we're going to build here another function, and it's the open location function. So let's build that here. That's a public bool. Is open location. And we're going to pass in here an int for the column and an int for the row. Right? And now we can say here in map column row and map tiles column row is not equal to the map 
tile type map barrier right and of course we need to return and in map check if a given point is in the map so if it's a legal column row and it checks in the map tiles if it's not a barrier right uh, check if a given location exists and is not blocked by a map barrier right the column position and that's the x and the row position and that's the i and it returns true if the given map location exists and not blocked by a barrier right is open location okay and now we have this is open location function built we can go back to our pacman class where we have to build two other functions called the snap to x and snap to i so let's do that here and the first one is a public float S snap to x and we're going to pass in a factor 2 for the position and now we're going to say here that position minus equals new factor 2 and we're going to say here that position x modulus came one dot tail size and position dot i modulus came one dot tail size All right and now we're going to return position dot x plus 8 right that's the function snap to x so uh, snap the object to the x axis of the grid right and that's the position of the object and it returns the new x position right and that's the snap to x All right and now we need to build the snap to i and that's almost the same as the snap to x so we're gonna copy this snap to x and we're gonna paste it here so now we need to change the name it's snap to i and another thing we need to do is the return value so 
it's boss i plus 8, right? So snap the object to the i axis of the grid. Alright. The position of the object. And that returns the new i position. Right? And that's the snap to i. Alright. Alright. I'm going to finish the tutorial here. And in the next tutorial, we're going to finish the Pac Man collision. And we're going to use then the snap to x, the snap to i, and the new is open location functions. So I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.